Hi all, Bynes here from Oz Bantams and today I'm just going to run you through uh, another part that I'm making. Uh, I have plenty of these little crankcase drain plugs. Now this is a little case drain plug that goes up where your crankcase is, not the gearbox oil drain plug. So I do have a few of these left but they're pretty butchered up, you know, they're pretty mullered up with bad um, spanners being fitted to them and everything like that. So I've got a few engine rebuilds coming up and the first engine that's just come in lately, this is completely mullered. So I went out and had a look at my second hand stock and they're not a whole heap better. So time to go and manufacture some I thought. So what I'm going to show you on this video is how I punch out one of these. I'll try and get it a bit closer there for you. So quarter inch Whitworth thread on a half inch um, AF um, hex. Can't, obviously can't get Whitworth size hex anymore if you can. Must be in the UK or somewhere because I, I can't get it here. Anyway, we'll go through, we'll reset the camera up. We'll go through and we'll show you how I, how I do it. Okay, so this is the way it ends up after you've machined the last component. So, I'm going to change the tools over while the machine isn't rotating. Under the chuck. And yes, this lathe does have what they call a collet chuck, which sort of grabs the material like that. We're going to push this back in and it'll hit a stop, which will give us our length. Right. Tighten the chuck up. Get the chuck key out of the way. And that's our next tool actually right there. Start it up and we'll take two turning, turning cuts. Now you can see I've got the white stuff blowing on it is cooling. And that is to actually got soluble oil in it and that helps the machining process. So second cut, now this is down to the final diameter that we require to cut the quarter inch BSW thread on it. I'm actually feeding this by hand, this lathe does not have power feed, it's that old and that's our shoulder length. This tool over here is a chamfering tool which will give us a chamfer for the lead in for our thread. Right, before that tool goes back in, I change it out. Now this goes over into a bark position, ready to chamfer and ready to um, part it off. Right, now we're going to cut the thread on it. So this is actually a button die in, inside this holder here. I won't be power feeding it. I'll actually stop the machine, then I'll feed it on. Right, so if I was to feed it on the whole way and it hit the shoulder, it would just strip the thread basically. So I just finish off by hand. And that's it, reverse it out and then we'll part it off. So we're cutting a chamfer on the back now. So that gives us our chamfer on the head of our pick, and now we're parting it off, we're actually cutting it off. And that's the actual machining. Alright, so there you have some of the ones that we've already Produce. That was the one I just parted off and machined up uh, while you're watching. So you can see just the, the tiny burrs on the edge there. And I'm, I think I'm having some focus and problems with this. But anyway, oh, there we go. That's better. So I put that over a wire buff. I'll stop moving see if we can, it'll focus on it. My apologies. Uh, I'll put that on a wire buff and just knock that little bit off the back. 
we'll give that a go. So that is what we ended up with after it's buffed. You can see there's no burrs on the edge there. The thread's all nice and clean. So once I machine uh, all these up and there's more in there, I'll just go through and I'll wipe buff them all and that'll be fine. But anyway, we've got nice new crankcase drain plugs. And that's how we do it. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, subscribe and do all that sort of stuff. It helps out. It really does. Righto. Thanks, team. Bye-bye.